really good. I think, I think it's great. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, man. So, uh, how long did this take you? This has taken me, I think, two days. It takes a day to stack up all the blocks because there's yeah. 12 of them, so that's 300 pounds each. 3,600 pounds, I think. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of uh, lifting, stacking, planning, and then now it's just uh, carve it away. So that looks great. Is it just you doing this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, wow. We have all the carvers, like we all yeah. help each other, but this is my specific piece. Wow. Oh, it's E.T. Phone Home. Yeah. You that movie? Oh, yeah. You have? It's a great movie. Nice. I like it. I like to hear that. There's a lot of you little guys yeah. nowadays that are. Uh, they actually yeah. know what this movie is. It's awesome. I just watched it last night. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Is yeah. that because you saw this? Yeah. Really? Cool. Well, E.T. Go Home's awesome. That's awesome, man. And what's your name? Aiden Henderson. Aiden Henderson, Ryan yeah. Cook. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. That's awesome, dude. Whether it's sharing stories, meeting new people, or visiting old friends, the Fort St. John High on Ice Winter Festival in Fort St. John is a great way to break up the winter, get off the couch, and spend some time outdoors. It's out of this world theme this year, which was awesome because there was aliens and all sorts of things. And I just kept thinking Star Wars or E.T. And being that I'm an 80s child, I figured E.T. it is. So I did E.T. phone home. I just reattached his arm because it actually broke because of the heat. So it's a little longer of an arm than what I wanted to do. And then I did a full circle moon and uh, did the little guy riding the bike and E.T., you know, cruising home. Last year, being so cold, the ice was brittle. This year, with the extreme warm temperatures, the carvers had to modify their designs accordingly for best effects. It's so warm that it, it's just melting. So you can see my piece here, it's ice damaged already. So instead of being clear and transparent, it spidered its way like the whole way through. So you kind of have to redo your design and re-adjust everything. The detail definitely goes away. I mean, I'm kind of carving it for the meltdown. So when it begins to melt, it'll still look cool and it'll have its form and it'll, it should stay together. But with this weather, you never know. It's, it's, it's the, the gamble with ice. Brian says he's very impressed with this year's event and believes it gets better each year. I definitely agree that this year is the best ever. Fort St. John outdid themselves, and that's not me just saying that. It really is. It's my favorite ice event every year. It's just so much fun to be here, and the community comes out, gets involved. You know, all the showrunners are fantastic. The city comes, the mayor's challenge. Ryan got his start in ice carving three years ago right here in Fort St. John. It's been fantastic because this is kind of like a cool place where they bring new guys in and get them going like Austin Greenfield. It's his first year, he's been helping Chris. He's a new guy, next year he's already invited back. So it's really cool, like there's progression. But it's, it's great because here at Fort St. John, they kind of empower you to become a better artist and they give you a chance to shine. I'm hoping that next year, minus 15, and it'll be a great event once again. The High on Ice Winter Festival takes place in Fort St. John every year during the family day long weekend. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Diane Townsend.